Hundreds used to call Kingsmouth home, an even greater number used to visit on holiday. Not anymore. An outbreak of the living dead caused chaos, killed 90% of the population, left only 50 survivors to face this calamity. Each of them has only one life. Will they spend it pushing back the horde, or will it end with them joining its ranks? This is Kingsmouth's Apocalypse. Survivors of Kingsmouth, I am Mayor Balderman, and I issued the evacuation order this morning. It is with great regret that I inform you that no longer do we have the means to do so. No ships will be docking here. We last received contact from a military vessel, the USS Effa, at 4.52 a.m. By 5.40, the ship came into view. Bodies were spotted falling overboard. We are trapped. Nobody is coming, and we must continue under that assumption. Kingsmouth is infested, and our very humanity is in jeopardy. We all lost more than any man should, but you mustn't waver. They are not your friends. They are not your co-workers. They are not your family. They are not human. We must retake our home and forge humanity's last bastion. Call the population and rid Kingsmith of this blight. They must be dispatched with apathy and efficiency. As soon as the mayor's speech concluded, a survivor named Gino headed south with a base location in mind. It was secluded, it was defendable, problem was, it was occupied. Occupied by a retired soldier named Commander Friendly. Hello? Hello? Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Hello? Hi, Can I help you, fellas? You're, you're on my land. Maybe. Can I have it? Are we? Sorry. My parents built this place and I've been living here ever since that... Well, you know what happened. So I'd recommend you could join us. Leave. Join you? I'm pretty sure I'm fine on my own. Well, Living to be fair, there are two of us and one of you. Happened. I can see that I'm outgunned here, but I, I'm telling you this now. You try to take this house from me, and if you do, I'll be back. Shit! Leave. Free house. Sick. Gino was trying to assemble a faction of his own. An invitation was open to all, and it came with the promise of protection in the cabin grounds. Yo, just go in, just go in, just go in. Those who don't have a weapon, go into the cabin! Perhaps to be appealing to potential recruits, or perhaps for lack of a better name, he decided to name his quickly expanding group... Silly Nation! Silly Nation! Silly Nation! Silly Nation! Silly Nation! Hello. Hey. Hello, gentlemen. Hello. I am the leader of Silly Nation. I lost my glasses and my shirt, but I still have my ass kicking Fedora. To address the faction's practically naked second in command, Glass Bones, sometimes called Paper Skin, was a very unique survivor. Unique for the fact he'd survived at all. You see, Glass Bones had taken every single negative trait available. The fact that this man is not dead should inspire you all. As head of the faction, though, it was time for Gino to address everyone, to ready his people, and to lay out their survival doctrine. Everyone, everyone sit the fuck down. Rule number one, please travel in buddies. An extra hand will save your fucking life. Because otherwise, if it's just you out there, there's no idea, you have no idea what will happen. Rule two, do not go to the military base unless instructed by me. You stay away from the military base, Yes, it has all the guns, but it's also high interest. Rule number three, if you need any advice or have any suggestions, please do not hesitate to ask. It is okay. We will not shame you unless it's like really fucking stupid. And then I will bully you. Good speech. Okay, cool. Good speech. With some rules established, Chino was ready to lead the faction's first proper looting run. Before I have to go, I'm just gonna go run and loot some of the nearby houses for food, okay? All right. Yeah, I'll yes, go with uh, you. Let's go. Yeah, I'll go two, with two as well. Just yeah, to... someone come. We need somebody okay. to stay at base, though. I would like for at least two people to stay at base. I right, got boss. Back, so That's why you're the boss, you boss. <laughs> okay, so I want to wait until we had a scouting team to say this. Avoid the roads. Okay. Go through the woods as much as possible. I know. Unless you were like, you know, good at driving, go through the woods as much as possible because people are going to be taking advantage of the roads. Okay. I'm good at. I'm good at hitting shit and I'm good at shooting. That's what I'm good at, boss. I was in the yard. I'm good at running. 
I'm a goddamn coward. I practiced running all my life. Though the search party had already left, there was someone lacking skills in all of these categories, eager to catch up with them. Glass bones, glass bones, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come for you? I'll fall down, I'll fall down, break nine bones and a couple ribs, break my toes, break my arm, and I'll still touch your bones. Broken! Broken bones! Get, on, get Bro over here! Broken will give you loot! You have to trust Broken. Oh, it's a survivor house, oh shit! A bunch of good shit here, this place has not been looted, everyone, come here, everyone come here! I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, a, I'm getting myself inside slowly. We got some good shit. Everyone grab <gasps> I found his best 12! Oh my, oh my god, there is a lot of crap in here. I would like the shotgun. Can I have the shotgun, please? Holy shit, I told I told you guys going to the military base wouldn't be a good idea. Yeah, I, I, I agree. <laughs> you scared the shit out of me. What the fuck was that? <laughs> it's just how you I mix My lungs! Is that broken pulse? Come on! Oh god, he's anemic. <laughs> Broken bones, we gotta get to the base now! <laughs> In the aftermath of his address to the island, the mayor was not having a good time. A few civilians had stuck with him, but their improvised weapons and limited experience were proving less than adequate for this undead threat. Hey, we need help down here! Hey, make your way to the fence! Jump the fence! Alright, back up, back up! Oh I shit, we gotta safe. get out of here, man. Go, go now, look over to the right. Shit. Uh, I'm sorry about that. We gotta, gotta go, we gotta go, man. No, we just gotta go, man. There is, there, I think there's. A, that's a horde from the resort. The resort actually hosted the largest horde on the map. Getting anywhere near it was a bad idea. We might the station's be busted, but uh, there might be something be left for us. There for tonight. Guys, yep. in here now. Oh shit. Oh. Yeah, this is what we needed. Holy fuck. Yes, yes. I'm a man of the Listen, Lord, we so can, I'm not... we can be the heroes. We don't need to use these guns for evil or anything. Yeah, We um... don't need heroes, we need manpower. Yeah, low-key though, Champions um... mean nothing when there's no one left to defend. Speaking of defending, that's exactly what this group needed to do. It seemed even the police station wasn't safe. They need to get further away, out towards the edge of the island. We need help over here, quit looting! <sighs> you got that one? Wow, watch out! G try not to hit, guys, try not to hit each other, try not to hit each other. Listen, I just think we should go to the gas station right now. Anyone agree? We Chance. need to reclaim probably, before probably. anything. If we can fortify some locations. If you want to make, like, a faction? Before they could officially join in a faction, they were interrupted by Lucas, a player who just so happened to live right by where the mayor's group were currently hiding. Hello? Is this? Hello. Oh. Oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, there's our guy here. Is everything all right? Uh, yeah, I'm at the um, lighthouse. The lighthouse, you... that's perfect. Are there people over there? No, just me. No, let's head to the lighthouse. Mm -hmm. If let's we can head secure to the that, we can use that to either signal just, or it, keep an are, eye out. Is everyone, are we all good? We're just we taking this we guy's moment? house? They weren't stealing his house. Lucas had graciously given them permission to head up to the island's eastern lighthouse, and it was far from a bad spot to set up base. We don't know exactly how the infection spreads yet, so be careful around corpses. I haven't found a mask, unfortunately, so I'm a bit worried. Oh, this is not. This house been looted already? No, no, everything's here. Hey, there's some munitions up here. No radio, though. This place would serve them well. Far from any zombies or other players that could cause them trouble. They finished the night by gathering around a campfire and properly setting up their faction. They were to be called Beacon, after the lighthouse they now called home. Well, I'd like to say I'm really glad I found all of you, and uh, I hope we survived yeah, all this. Yeah, this is... I think, well, we haven't made it yet, but we're good in there. I think we have a pretty solid group. I'm looking forward to working Amen. with you. Amen. Amen. I can get behind Team that. Beacon, Amen. right? I think our faction tag should be BN for Beacon. BCN, maybe? I don't know. How's that? It's good. I like it. Wonderful. Perfect. I was, I'm Lucas. I was homeless. My grandfather owned the lighthouse, and when uh, she, uh, he died, I got the lighthouse as, a, as an inheritance. So, yeah. 
I live in that town. Thank you for letting us use your house, Lucas. We really yeah, appreciate seriously. it, by the way. I'm Cliff Balderman. I was elected mayor a couple of years ago. I've uh, been re-elected once or twice, so that's quite nice, but uh, hardly matters now. Well, I'm uh, nice Tom Balderman. Uh, the mayor's my brother. I'm uh, I'm Bertram Clenshaw. I was uh, well, I am a priest, but I've been on a a mission in the in the UK. The savages over there, and I just returned. And then, well, this whole outbreak thing happened, so now I'm here. Okay, so let's just finalize our done. plans for tomorrow. Where are we going? Are we going to the military base, or do we want to go to like the school? All I right, was going so, to say, um, if we do go out to the military outpost, we should probably send, like, a very small group so we can infiltrate stealthily. I'm not sure that's not going to have people set up in it. It turns out the military base in the north of the map was occupied. Earlier in the day, among others, some of its former employees had raided the outpost's armory, intent on getting all they could from it. Right, get some guns, let's defend. It would be helpful if there's a light here. There has to be somewhere, but I mean, it's too dark for us to see it. Uh, All I've found is like ammo rather than... Oh, I, I, I've got some nice stuff for, for myself. Everyone wanted to get to the most powerful firearms, but it seemed that the island's enigmatic corporal and his loyal soldiers were well and truly ahead of the game. There should be a light switch in here. Ha! <laughs> Holy shit! There's so I much. You guys didn't know, I, I can't believe you guys didn't bother to look for the light switch. Is there well, some guns? Got... Oh, yeah, good. There's plenty of guns. Uh, okay, guys. Uh, guys anyone got any, find, any bags? Did you find like something? Oh, I want this one for me. With his newly acquired weaponry in hand, the leader of the base, Corporal Louis, set about helping civilians who'd gotten into more than they could handle. Oh, fuck, it's not worth it. Thanks for the rescue! That being said, the base was large, perhaps even too large for the soldiers to defend. Any civilians wanting a piece of the lead and brass pie soon found themselves overwhelmed by the dead. That's not good. Up, gamer? I got scratched! I'm gonna die! <laughs> Whilst some people were starting to form factions, and others gearing up to face the zombies, Eddie Richthofen had a much simpler plan, to get back home. Help me! I need to get to my house! Don't leave me here! Need a ride? I need a ride to my house! Please, let me in. Okay, we can get to your house, but first stop on the list is a particular military base and a fuckload of guns. Uh, I don't think this is the right course of plan. I don't think this is the right course of plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's 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 try it. Let's try a different way. I think this is the only way, and we just can't get in with a car. How about we get ourselves a nice meal and fire each to live another day? After that slight detour, his newly made friend Maniac McGregor drove them both to Richtofen's home, the one by the second and most eastern of the island's two lighthouses. Oh, look at this place. This is, place. This is my house. Would you- Ow! 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 Oh, ow! 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 Sorry, ow! Sorry. Ow! That really hurt me. What the hell? Who the hell broke into my house? Oh! Careful! Looks like some squatters. Squatters broke into my house. I can't have some. Whilst Richtofen wasn't up for sharing his home with undead squatters, it seemed he had unexpectedly found himself a new housemate. And we'll kill anyone who tries to take this from us because it's rightfully ours. Well, rightfully yours, anyway. No, it's ours now. I like you. Yes, yes, yes. I like you too. You remind me of a particular uh, friend I had a while ago. He's dead though, and I smashed his head open like a watermelon. Unfortunate for him though. I hope you're pleased to know that I am willing to do the same to you if you were to turn. And on top of all that, they found Richtofen's home defense shotgun, which it turns out they may be needing. Ooh, shotgun shells. Ooh, and a double-barreled shotgun. You want that? Oh, I do love his shotgun. 
Hello, I'm downstairs. Please don't shoot me with a shotgun you just found. Thank Get you. the hell out of my house. Who this are you? This is our house. This is I our house. Yours. I not aware. I will You're bringing the Don Deck to my house? Get the hell out of here. You're bringing the horde Sounds here. Like something's coming. Go oh, ahead. Oh, are you okay, sir? Sir, are you okay? Ah, uh, there's little, many little holes in my arm, and a little bit no, of saliva. No. I think it's a bite. It, are there? Is there a cure? Well, I don't know. I, just, I, I'm not Listen, I don't know anything more than you do. I, I swear. Unfortunately for Richtofen, that wasn't to be the end of his troubles. His house was strategically positioned, and people wanted in, literally. You got it. We got it. Once we're, once we're there, we're good. I think we're safe now. Who were these people? Why were they all coming here? Well, it turns out they were all in a faction, and they called themselves... Girl Gang. <sighs> God. The current occupants of the lighthouse would have to start turning to threats of violence. Patience is unfortunate. That I do not have! Okay, okay. It's off. Let's, listen, let's put the guns down. Let's not. Gun please. Away, let's you know what else is really They're weird? They're uh, trespassing so on mine property. house. Uh, please leave. Everybody chill. Mine house, private mine key, property. mine place. Yeah. If anyone's gonna be leaving, it's you, because this is uh, our prop. Well, it's, our it's Eddie's place. property. It's my I have a gun, too. Be leaving. And I'm a crap Very shot. Cool. Outnumbered and outgunned, Richtofen had to use his brain and so devised a genius bluff. I lower your weapons. This place is rigged with explosives, and if you kill me, it will explode every day in the morning. For whatever reason, the girl gang didn't believe him. Though they did see it was getting rather out of hand, and some did try to de-escalate the situation. Uh, Mr. What was your name? Uh, you sound German. Oh, oh my name is Eddie. Vlad's last is non-binary asses. Yeah. If we put the guns down, I will give everyone here ice cream. I will give everyone here ice cream as long as we all put the guns away. Um, oh, ice cream! Yeah, but this is the lighthouse, and I own the lighthouse. I'm the man of the house! Girl gang, girls and my boys only. Why are you breaking into my house? I'm really sorry, but I think we have an advantage here. Oh, no, I only the put it on the table. You know what, you know what, Rick Taffin? You know what, Rick Taffin? You know what, Rick Taffin? This, this isn't worth it. This isn't worth it. We, we've already got Three, all the good shit. Let's just leave. Four. Four. You're really four. aiming at the only doctor in this place. They weren't giving him long to pack up and leave with this countdown. Though, they did find time to beat box numbers 22 through 27. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, Hey, he's my buddy. I'm, I'm, already, I'm already convinced him to leave. We're leaving. He's just getting his medication and then we'll be on our way. I need my medication with my shirt. Please move out of the way. 64, 4 more seconds, 66. Enjoy yeah. this house while you have it. This place is ripped up. Yeah. Okay, bye. You can leave now. Oh yeah, come on, Rick Taffin. Come on, Rick. Unbelievable, bye. I say. We live in a disgruntled house. What if we tell all the other groups of what they've done and start a war? Rick Taffin was not going to have this. He would make it his mission to do whatever was needed to erase the girl gang from the island completely. Exactly. Now we need to seek out other like-minded groups who are uh, sympathetic to our plight. It wouldn't take long at all for the recently evicted duo to start spreading their story. Hello. Uh, we no, come with tales of tyranny. Of yes, girl oh. gang. For this innocent man out of his house just because they quote unquote superior numbers and they didn't like the fact he was German. They took the head of That's a evil. they took the head of a zombie and held it up to my arm. I'm currently <laughs> fighting <laughs> a disease. They may have started embellishing the finer details ever so slightly, but it was all a means to an end for them. If if you so much as annoy them, they'll shoot you without a second thought. Be warned. Oh, they will get you beaten. The pair just kept running into people and spreading their perhaps less than accurate stories of the girl gang. What happened to your neck? Oh, they took a zombie head and put it really close to me and got me a bunch of bites. 
Mm. Maybe was, you should uh, find one of those black hazmat zombies. They exist? Yeah, you can get a cure on fun? them. Did you find fun? Okay. Rick nope, Tonifin. I found someone dressed up as one. Rick oh. Tonifin, we have a plan. We got to find them ASAP. I'm feeling a little queasy. Okay. After sharing a respectable amount of misinformation, they both decided to head back to the military base in the hopes they could find some unlooted weaponry or a cure for Richthofen. What they did not expect to see were the remaining soldiers on their way out of the base. A lot more deserted than I... Oh! You, sir! Stop your car! We have a question. Have you seen Have you seen a zombie with a black hazmat suit by chance? He's speeding, he's speeding off! He's speeding off! They followed the car on its exit, though lost it after having to squeeze out of the front gate. It wouldn't be long at all, though, until they encountered another military patrol. Here's another one. Oh. Hey! Oh, hell. Stop your car! We got a question. It was Corporal Louis and his men. Do you have a cure? Well, why do you ask? Um, We're in the market for a cure, and we'll pay through the nose for one. Uh, why? Um, all right. Why do you I'll think? tell you a story of terror. I used to own the lighthouse. And a gang called the Girl Gang came up to my oh. house. And oh boy! Yeah, <laughs> took a we're gonna use you. We have a cure. Come with us. Well, that's good, cause uh, you see, I have a cure, and uh, storms are brewing. His faction was holed up by the port on the east of town, and in the absence of any official power structure. They'd adopted the name National Guard. After Hello. Duty, we had a successful excursion. We got two Hello. more soldiers. Are you the National Guard by chance? Yes, we are. What's up, buddy? So, uh, I, I will address you as my name is Corporal Lewis. I am the leader of this outfit. And, uh, Maniac, I have your cure right here. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Rick Toffin, take it. We are forever in your debt. We will kick in Hell's Gates for you. Now what we ask is that you join our outfit because the storms are brewing. On our way back. If it's against oh, yes, girl I... gang, we will we will do anything it takes to slaughter well, them. I imagine at some point we'll be in conflict with the girls, but at the time, we're dealing with the silly. But maybe people. not slaughter. They, oh, uh, those, yeah. They bully us. I so will bully innocent civilians like you. I can back. relate, and, and I will Rick help you I think you out. can relate to the to the sad story of one of our soldiers. He was will... horribly kicked out of his house by another faction, exiled from his land. This is exactly like our story. On top of meeting the island's only remaining military remnants, they also met its only remaining journalist, one Bear Cohen. They took, they took my house, they gave me ice cream, rich, I like ice cream, rich, 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 but rich. they Sir, took a your story, their, your story deserves to be told. What was that? What's I know. And by God, I will tell it. Things were looking up for Richthofen. He'd made some new friends and gotten that cure he so desperately needed. I feel like a Someone new man. There. I feel reborn. We shall rise, Richthofen, and we shall exact a revenge against Girl Gang. Someone else, less welcome, was just showing up at the compound. An unknown survivor now intruding on military territory. Hey man, what's, what's, you doing what's here? up? I'd like to trade. Well, for what? They were not affiliated with any faction, and they only went by Raccoon. Louis didn't know what to do about them. We could use you. You want to do some labor? I'm not a squad person. Well, you I'm a see, solo. I'm I don't... looking to go mess with those silly people. And, uh, I don't. I don't, I don't mean any What's harm. What's going on? Okay. Look, okay. look. I don't mean any harm. I have things that may be valuable to you people, and I like would what? like to. Then give them to us. Hey, hey. Look, Hello? look. I don't have them on me right now. An unknown trader with nothing to trade was not to be trusted, and Louis thought he might make an example of them. Wait, 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 listen, 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 listen. Hit him once. Ooh. Hit him. Give him the good old wallop. Oh, hey, 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 listen, <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> hey, guns well, down, guns right, down, lads. Guns, guns down. Can you guys give me a bandage at least? What's up, pussy? Yeah, someone give him a bandage. Anyone want to do a little mission? A little mission? I'm a, we're going to take him, and, and, and we're going to scare, scare those silly, silly people straight. People straight. So, uh, so, uh, get in the car, in the car. Uh, we're gonna head uh, over. We're gonna head over. Louis promised that no fatal harm would befall Raccoon as they got ready to leave. Who's these silly people? What did- what I are they? they, they I, I literally came back to my house and 
They're just pointing guns at me. They drove Raccoon all the way to the Silly Nation's base, the cabin that so viciously stolen from Louis' commander friendly. They were going to make their opinion of the Sillies clear. Okay, let's go. Might be able to catch a couple off guard. Take a prisoner. Alright, after right. Nooney. You guys have quite the operation. Yeah, quite the operation. Uh, bring out uh, your leader. Hello. Hello. Oh. What's up, guys? Yeah, uh, there's Gino. Yeah, there's Gino. You see, you kicked this innocent man named Friendly yeah, out of his house. Just How could you do cool. something like that? You know, the rules well, still apply. I will admit it ain't like it was before. But we need to all live together. I came home to having men point guns at me. Yeah. Yep. This man here, Raccoon. A little imp I hear he's important to some people on the mainland. Hey, I, hey, that's not true. Corporal Lewis, is that it? Yeah, I'll we'll leave it. him. Just... How about this? We don't want him. Take him, kill him, whatever. No, Take wait, 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 please, please! Please, please. Well, Louis had certainly made his point. So I, I think we're no not going to be friendly to those guys anymore, huh? Sucks for you. What, what, what was yeah, your deal with them anyway? Like... Yeah, I, what did you do to them? I didn't do shit. Look, I I was they in my just, house. They and, held you hostage. Yeah, and they found me and they took my shit oh. and drove me out here. The National Guard had stuck to their promise, though. Raccoon wasn't dead, just a little worse for wear and rather unhappy. Actually, though, one member of the Silly Nation, the one you'd expect to be in the most suffering, was having a blast. It's okay. There's thread on the ground I right beside you. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Actually, I don't know how to fix the deep one. I have the needle and thread on me. I, I also would like to bring this up. Um, I have a gun on me. At night, I lie That's okay. Awake just uh, I was just pull it out. Until my heart attacks put me to sleep. Glass bones. Glass bones. Glass bones and paper skin. Whilst all that was going on, and with a good portion of the National Guard on the other side of the island, the girl gang finally had some time to themselves. Everybody, my name's Eleanor, um, I'm 32, and today, oh, with, the, with the end of the world, for the first time in my life, I pointed a gun at another human being. And Yay. I don't know. I was a super villain. A, a couple months ago, I decided to come here, and I don't remember what happened. All I remember is waking up with a hooker in my bed and cocaine on my nightstand. Oh, same. Does anybody else have anything they want to say, or um, should we start I, I like, getting? I want to say something. I feel like we can truly like make a better society because men don't really know how to like take care of their skin, and it gets all like gross and oily. If you look like a zombie, you're gonna get shot like a zombie. Then, it was back to work, getting ready for if, or more likely when, they would be facing their next big challenge. I'm going to look for bugs. I'm very good at this. Back by the resort, Lumber Joe and Kira, two friends with a passion for woodworking, were preparing to get away from all this chaos. Though that's easier said than done, with so many undead left on the streets. Let's uh, back up, I'm not I am not dealing with death. Oh my, hey, it's following you. We're leaving. Only a few more items though, and they'd be ready to leave civilization for good. Next stop, the school library for carpentry books. Though perhaps even more unexpected than driving into a giant horde of zombies, was finding the school lunch lady still loyally attending her duties. Hello there. Who's there? Hello, are, you, are you guys using the library? Yeah, we're just reading. Yeah, yeah we're just we're just gaming you're, you're, you're taking the books? Those are school property. You're welcome to read them here, but you can't <laughs> take them away. Oh, okay, well, okay, we, we'll just be loaning them, okay? Um, let me just... Do, do you have a piece of paper? Okay. And, like, it's I'm a gonna... library, so we should bring them back. Okay. Mrs. Dolores wasn't going to let a little thing like the apocalypse get in the way of proper library protocol. It's so lucky that every single child was on a on a field trip today. Here, here, here we go. Quickly, quickly. I totally didn't take all the magazines that she had. Ooh. Let's go. You know no, no, you can't. No, no, you, no, you can't. You can't. You can, no, uh, no, uh. Well, we'll bring them back. Trust me. 
and they'll be brought back in a few days. Well, next up on his scavenging run, Lumber Joe was looking for a more peaceful experience, though unwittingly drove around the corner and straight into the National Guard's base. Isn't, isn't this like the base of those uh, National Guard? They're over here actually. They could hear them talking off in the distance, having just returned from the Silly's base. I took the trowel. They'd have to get out fast, preferably without alerting any armed guards. Were they in the clear? They didn't know if they were, or what direction they were meant to be heading as they pulled out of the dockyard. After the girl gang got news of Raccoon's forceful arrest, tensions between them and the National Guard were understandably tense. There was, however, talk of trade starting up between them, but they'd yet to exchange the first items. Uh, that sucks. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, I don't know if we... Yeah, if you guys could, like, look for the supplies. Uh, girl gang looks for the supplies. You guys still wait out here. But yeah, girl gang, look for the supplies. If we can find it, we can give it off. It turns out they also couldn't find what they'd promised to trade the National Guard. Um, excuse um, me? That's not very nice. You. We'll light you up like no one ever fucking saw. Hey, hey, hey. Talk shit, okay. get hit, motherfucker. Like... You don't fuck with girl gang. That's like really rude. Yeah, that's, let's yeah, not like threaten to kill each other because we have a lot of guns. Oh, we don't want war. We want to be allies. We'll give you the supplies. But you better not make those threats, do I make myself clear? You know, I make myself clear. I'm Corporal Lewis and I'm in charge of this island. Yeah, sure, uh, which is why we are all allies you can be in and... You the island, sir, but I'm a good citizen. And I'm just here oh, in my house. From a, from a man that you're not. So, uh, I don't know why you're, they're being antagonistic towards us, because we are... We want to trade with them and we will be worse for everyone if we're hostile to each other. Okay. Yeah, no, let's, let's retreat. Walk, let's no. retreat. I don't like this. Um, they don't like they, girls existing. Retreat, you make it sound like you're gonna fight us. Louis and his soldiers drove back, but Lumber Joe, completely disoriented, drove straight in behind them. Hey Morgan, you, let's get back to base you, real quick. Ah! I need to talk with you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, who's this? Whoa. Whoa. What the fuck? Hey, no, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Get the I'm fuck back. <laughs> oh. Uh, you Unfortunately for him, he had been seen earlier rifling through the National Guard's storage containers. Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Number Joe, I'd suggest you step out of the vehicle. Uh, I suggest not, I suggest not actually. Let's turn around, let's turn around. They obviously took security very seriously. Oh, I'm, I was shot in the head. I, I bandaged myself, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm not bleeding. Let's get the hell away from them. Who the fuck would even do that? That's not I got nice. shot in the head and the foot, oh my god. Back over at the scene of Lumber Joe's injury, people were taking issue with his assailant. What are you shooting? Dude, you, you shot the guy on the lawn. Who was that driving? Okay, it's it's just... Lumber Joe, he's a street criminal. The National Guard departed to work on their base, and the girl gang was left to figure out what to do in the aftermath. I feel like they're afraid. They, they're just really afraid, they right? They want to kill us. They're literally looking for a reason. They decided that the best course of action might just be to get away, even if that meant abandoning their hard-won home. Are we leaving? Yes, yeah, we are. I think so. I'm making the call. Uh, you know where we will meet? Actually, I have an idea. Okay, let's Around hurry the then. the coast, there's a lot of houses on the water. What if we go here? Grab as much food as I can carry, the calorie-dense stuff at least. We need to go, because they're not going to waste too much time. I don't I don't feel like the National Guard are going to be very happy about us existing. Uh, this is scary. I'm going to be honest, I'm really scared. Moving our focus over to the beacon for a minute, the mayor and his small group of friends were about to head out on a zombie killing mission, though it seemed they may run into a few distractions first. Oh, wait a minute. How do Listen, we if things if, uh... get hairy... If things wait, wait, get wait. hairy, we do not stick around. We leave. Understood? We should take the other way around. Yeah, I can hear you. Wait, is that a guy up there? Oh, another way around? Hello? 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 How's it, dude? How's it? Hi. How's it, it going? pretty good. I'm Dr. Lindell. I'm a traveling doctor. You guys in need of any medical a assistance? doctor? Um, oh, we might need a doctor soon. There's right a now. horde over here that we're getting ready to eradicate. 
I'm hope post it up in the medical that, place though. If you do need help, the right medical place right down there. Yeah, that's the one. They I'm are. up on the roof. Are there, are there people back towards our base? That there were. Carla and some of the girl gang refugees had made it to what they hoped could be their new home. So is this it? That we're just gonna take over these houses? Doesn't seem like a bad place. I hear voices. I hear voices. Oh, it's uh, what what is BCN? There's a large group of people. One. I don't believe there's, I know them. there's a group of eight people. T hey, 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 we're, guys. Hello. 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 Uh, we're just refugees. Don't mind us. Oh, right. uh, we can all the help we could get. There is a horde over here. They're all there is a horde to the northeast people. called the uh, National Guard, and they're killing and robbing people on sight. We, we came from the lighthouse at the very top right of the map. I believe there's only one. Ah, the uh, yeah. Top, there's no, two, the there's two right? lighthouses. We want to stay here that? for now while we the rest of our split. faction comes here, but we can we can all work together. We yeah, can be we're allies. The National Guard it. has six, twelve people. Uh, no. Well, we can take them. I, I don't think sorry, we can take them. They have a lot of guns. Not, not if we combine forces, we could take them. I don't know. I think that's a poor uh. idea with this infighting. Those aren't we civilians. The National Guard are real military remnants. Maybe so. They're led by a corporal. We obviously I don't know have his a greater name. threat here. They have intelligence, yes, but the longer we leave them alive, the more Zeds they're gonna kill. Well, listen, you can trust us. This is the mayor of Kingsmith. He's my brother. Mm. First, though, the girl gang would be introduced to Big Lucy. All right, everyone, get, oh let's, let's go to the. Oh my god! Ew. Wow. Hey. What the hell? Hey, that's, 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 that's Big Lucy. That's Big Lucy. That's Big Lucy. Big Lucy. Don't talk about Big Lucy. Okay. She's so gorgeous. I love her. Okay, I do like Just her lips. Room. She does, she is a mood and she is an icon. Now, official allies, it was time for the joint forces of Beacon and Girl Gang to head out, and for the mayor to finally bring into effect his anti zombie policies. Alright, I'll back up lead here. the charge. Girls, assemble. Bye. Bye, good luck. Bye, good luck. Yep, good luck to you. Um, Alright, here it is, here it is. Get your cars ready, uh, get car ready in an evacuation position. And with that, it was time to bludgeon some Zeds. Slowly but surely, the lighthouse group were bringing Kingsmouth's undead population down and down. The beacon had made the island safer from the undead, but had yet to do anything about possible player threats. On the other hand, the silly nation had practically deforested all of their territory in an attempt to stay safe from the National Guard. Thank you for uh, cutting all these logs up. They'd used them to construct a large wall alongside the main entrance to their area, which would hopefully serve to slow down any advancing soldiers. It would be a minute before they could judge their wall though, as the group they supposed they'd be testing it against was currently just driving around and exploring the island. Who are you, my god? Hello! Oh my god, Hello. look, it's Pricey. Can we come up, Pricey? Yo, Pricey, can we come up? Uh, i be the local doctor here, yeah. Do you need any uh, medical attention? No, no, we just want to say hi. Uh, I'm just staffing the hospital here. Uh, if you need medical attention, oh. feel free, come on up. Yeah, we have our own doctor though, don't worry. They were off meeting new people, in an attempt to gather intel and to repair their somewhat unsavory reputation. Hey, yo, 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 yo! Guard, we just want to get a surveillance of how many survivor groups are in the area. Is it only you two, or is there more people here? I, uh, you guys I'm don't, kidding, you guys kidding, don't exactly have the best reputation. What do you mean? Huh. Just, yeah. Have you had people come by here? Uh, well, I didn't really pay attention to what they're saying. I'm too busy leveling up my electrical. Well, I was gonna do a joke about molly whopping you. I'm just gonna push you now. Yeah, how do you like <laughs> that? I've got a cool desert eagle. You like the desert yeah, eagle? Yeah, how do you like cool. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Oh, damn. Oh my god, Jesus! Stumping on someone as a joke really wasn't helping their case. It was only my uh, nuts. Um, <laughs> oh. Oh. oh! I won't meet those yeah, anymore. Oh, oh well, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, here, let's hug it out. Let's hug it out. I think they're friends. They're I, you know, I think we made a great impression. Next up, they'd be running, or more accurately, driving into members of the Girl Gang Beacon Alliance. Hello. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Ah. Oh, That's cruel. Oh, my God. Are you OK? No, I'm not. You have Careful. to pay for that. Oh. You got to swap insurance. Hold on. Yeah. 
Yeah. Wait, but you were on the wrong side of the road. You can't. We were on the right side of the road. Okay, well, what are you gonna do? Call the police on me? Hey, like our that? engine is 1%. That's fine. We'll oh, no. Out. They'd be going on foot until they could acquire another vehicle. God, can't have shit in Kingsmith. Uh, this looks like it might belong to somebody. Get in, get in. It does belong to somebody. Oh, my God. That somebody they were just about to run into, along with the mayor and some other Beacon members, out looting. Um. Oh, no. Excuse me. Oh no. Hello. Wait a second. Wait, you... Hello? Wait. Hold on, I recognize that guy in the back. You're National Guard. Hold on, hold on. This is my car. What's going on? I'm hearing bad things about you guys. Living and surviving. What now? Living and surviving. You know, Someone just shot me. Someone just I'm not sure exactly what you're talking what the... about. We met hey, with a couple people earlier, me. but they're long gone. We haven't been hearing good things about you guys. What's yeah, going on? Just shot me. with them? I did not shoot nobody. Lewis hey, just shot. Hey, guns down. What the hell, it man? It goes for everyone. Lewis, why'd you shoot him? I did not Does anyone have a- Does anyone have I, a- Yeah, I a, saw a you Jesus? shoot him. I'm not fucking blind. I apologize. Blind. I did. I just was trying to shoot the zombie. He killed it at the same time. Dumbass, why would you shoot when I'm right there? Okay, oh okay, everyone, everyone just calm, calm down. Well, just calm forgive. down for a second. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone chill. One big happy it, family. Yeah, I would forgive if someone had tweezers because I'm currently bleeding out. We don't want to be enemies, but we haven't been hearing anything good about you all. You lot. What's going on? What's your source? Beacon, this isn't worth it. Hort, 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 hey, yeah. for, for, We're gonna go our separate ways now. This was either a complete comedy of errors, or just a show of incompetence. But it seemed that everything had gone wrong for the National Guard today. Just after that, a couple Beacon members had made it over to the city's compound, trying to act as an envoy and bring the two factions into contact. Get in! Careful, careful! Alright, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. So, are, are you guys safe as of now? I just came here to right. check on you guys and make sure you guys weren't still being invaded. Oh, wait, you guys control Lighthouse? Yeah, oh, you're the Lighthouse the... guys? I would like to announce that we have here today a member of Beacon here who would like to team up with Silly Nation. Silly Nation had as good a reason to dislike the National Guard as the Girl Gang perhaps more so, as they were actively organizing an offensive to retake the cabin where the sillies were based. Well, I mean, oh, I if no they clue. find you, you're gonna die. Like, yeah. so we'll do are our best to Are you still a girls gang, though? Like, is that Thank true, you. Thank you. at least? Like, did yes, you lie about that, program. too? Okay, okay. At this point, the silly nation was getting paranoid, rarely venturing beyond that wall of theirs for fear of the National Guard. <laughs> Guys, there's people <laughs> on the other side of the river. Other guy. What the is there? Where? Where? Listen, 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 listen. I can't tell if what I'm hearing is panic or like something else. My hell. Oh, <laughs> it's banished. It's banished. It's banished. Hello? Open the car. Banished? The... Yeah, not, yet, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Really not yet. Oh, wait, yeah, wait. Leave it there. Yeah, we should follow it. Glass Bones was just returning to base in his usual excited state. Though the question of if he was followed remained up in the air. Um, hey, I don't mean to alarm people, but I have a four times scope and I see three people at the very edge of the house. Uh, that's uh, not good at all. Someone was out there in the woods, waiting and listening. Uh, anyone hear a good shot? Because I can't see anything. I've got level four, but it won't matter if they're in the trees, we won't be able to aim at them. I think if you got a shot, you should maybe take it. Hey, I've got a highlight. I've got a highlight. Do I take the shot? Take it. Uh, take Fuck it, yeah. It. Go for it. Nice shots. You hitting them? Hit? Well, he fell down. He's not dead. He oh, ran away, but he's... Oh, he's hit. Good stuff. Good stuff. Nice fucking good job. shot. That was a member of the National Guard. Commander Friendly. Watching his old home and listening in for any information. He ran off to lick his wounds and to report back to Louis. Over by the resort, a few players had taken up the challenge of the famed giant horde, though as a general rule, the more zombies there are, the less likely your plan is going to work out. Gerald Finkelstein was about to learn that firsthand.
Yeah. My gun jammed. Just... Get out. We should not be with each other. We can accidentally shoot. You think we can melee them? No! You shot me! No! Whilst the zombies still posed a threat, it was the survivors you'd soon need to be watching for. The highest ranking members of the National Guard had assembled in their war room to discuss how they'd escalate their violence against the silly nation. Okay, boys, we gotta discuss more plans. Enthusiast, I want you to lead another sniping mission when we go. I really don't want to kill them. Well, unfortunately, as you've seen, they've attacked us first yeah, and many I times. See. Meeting, yeah, meeting, meeting. everybody outside, yeah. everybody outside, yeah. meeting. All members had to be ready. If the opportunity arose, they'd take out the sillies. So, you guys are all the sniper team. Have fun with that distinction. Sounds good. All that was left was to officially declare war. And luckily for them, an opportunity to do so was just about to present itself. I hear people whispering. I think I hear whispering. Someone. I hear people whispering. Combat positions. Combat positions. Identify yourself. Oh, I, I remember them. I saw them on the road. Can you just do us a favor uh, and deliver was, a message? Did someone like call me or something? Yeah. Can you can you do us a favor uh, and deliver what's a the message? message? What's uh, the message? What's the message? I don't know. Declaration of war to the silly people. Right, okay, go. okay. For sure. They were going to remind all members of the Silly Nation that you do not mess with the National Guard. Going into Session 2, Glassbones had managed to negotiate a two-hour truce with the National Guard. No one quite knew what was to happen, and everyone needed time to prepare. Over by the docks, where once the Mayor announced the apocalypse, two new people were entering it. Rick Witherspoon, who hid in a crate until this point, and Jerry Octopus, a rather confused holiday maker. They scavenged what they could and headed out, Octopus still not quite grasping the gravity of the situation. My, uh, my cruise was late. Will I be the safari? I was told there was going to be a safari. A safari? That sounds fun. I'm not from around these parts. The, uh, I'm a tourist. Well, I've been here a few weeks. Uh, I just stayed indoors for the. F you, you don't know what's happened? It's the goddamn. How are you gonna get a tan if you stay indoors? Like, that's a bit stupid. Well, it's the apocalypse. Y you've not, the you've really not heard what happened. There's no Wi Fi on the cruise. <laughs> it was, it was, it was quite, quite shit affair, really. Well, anyway. Yes, the zombie apocalypse, if you- if you- I can't believe you haven't noticed. Well, I guess most of them are dead now, but- well, Now that you mention it, there does appear to be a big pile of dead people over there. I might have to- That's making me think something might have happened here, you know? But I'm not an expert, I wouldn't know. Not knowing what to do with the island in such a state, the pair wandered about until they stumbled into members of the girl gang. Yo, okay? Hi. I've been hiding out all week, you know, since it all started. Uh. Well, there welcome seem to, to civilization. Uh, yeah, there's uh, not really any zombies left. Yeah, we kind of took care of them. Uh, be be careful of men in camouflage. Men in camouflage. Hey. You know where the safari is? I just got off the cruise and I was told there was a safari in a rum masterclass. It's been a pleasure to meet you. I'm the mayor of, uh, well, uh, what exactly is going on here? So, you two are the new arrivals, correct? What happened? Uh, were you guys just holed up, or...? I was, yeah. I don't know about this guy. Some kind of cruise. We're not exactly in a good position to be accepting tourists at the moment. Again, okay. This is a lot different to you what I expected. What, I'm starting to think there isn't even a safari. I think things are worse Thank than you. I thought. I'm just surprised that there's, well, people and no zombies. The mayor would have been proud of how thoroughly the islanders had pushed back the undead but now had to explain the National Guard situation to Rick. Well, I don't like the sound of it, but we're gonna be at war. The women over there, uh, they had their own group going on, but they were attacked and robbed by another group. The National Guard is what they go by. 
Yeah, yo, go ahead. Guy. Take oh. some food out of the fridge. Bruce. We got plenty at the moment. Whilst the recent arrivals were finding a new metaphorical home amongst the beacon, Richthofen was returning to his old physical one. The girl gang abandoning his lighthouse had finally given him the chance to return to it. Oh, um, my house. Nice to be back. Trash everywhere. Can't believe it. They took all the food. I, I, they left behind the hot sauce. I doesn't feel like my house anymore. Yeah, it's took a my mess. TV. Blood on oh, the wall. yeah, they did. They ravaged the place. Despite the state it was in, the National Guard were lucky they regained control of a lighthouse. The vantage point it gave them let them see something very interesting. Supply crates, supposedly from the USS Effer, being carried by ocean waves towards the island. All along its perimeter, boxes of very useful items were washing ashore, and Richthofen, having spotted one from his tower, was the first to go and get some of their loot. All armor drop. They contained sets of improvised armor, and the manuals needed to create more. Where have you been, Richthofen? I, w I, was, I went with uh, some of the guys up in t to comb the beaches for crates. Oh, I can see you wearing the scrap armor. I found a nearby the Shilly Gang. I got books cool. on how to be producers. So, where, when can we start making armor? I am I'm requesting uh, a headpiece. If they could get armored up before the others, they'd be at a major advantage in any combat encounters. Speaking of potential combat, the Silly Nation's leadership were about to act on the looming threat. In light of the National Guard's superior military strength, they had decided on something drastic. Okay. Hi. Um, for starters, we are abandoning the base. All right, ladies and gents, Broken That's Bones here. We're going. So we're going to follow the beach and then head to the... You guys were the first building that we were at when the mayor was giving his speech. Yeah, yeah. They had a destination in mind. They would be happy anywhere safer. First, however, they will need to successfully move everyone. I was going to say, this is all important. I know yesterday I told you guys to kill National Guard and Psych, but they are not to harm us. We are not to harm them until the war. All right, everybody, start grabbing stuff. We got to get ready. When they had agreed on the ceasefire earlier, there was something extra that one member of the National Guard had requested to use it for. I was, I was contacted by the mayor, along with this local okay. reporter. He wants to do an interview. It's going to be me and the, the mayor, so that's like big. It'll be announced later. Whilst this talk of meeting with Bear Cohen was interesting, there was clearly something more pressing at hand. We're going, get your guns out, be ready. Hurry up, come on. If the National Guard comes by, stand your ground. Now sticking to the beach, and circling around the resort to avoid any unwanted chance encounters, they happened to stumble upon something rather valuable. Ignore the distractions. Just follow. They wouldn't be ignoring this distraction. Nor should they. The armor was too big an upgrade to miss. Give it to the higher ranks. Dixie, I need you to drop it and give us give it to the higher ranks. We're gonna wear it because we're high priority targets. Where's banished? Where's banished? Grab a... Fuck. Oh, we carry on, he knows where we're going. Where the fuck are we going, by the way? Raccoon, hurry up. Fuck, where the fuck is Banished? Hey, Juno, where is it that we're heading? You'll see. Is this it? It should be here. If they're not here, we can just go up. Mayor Balderman was collecting car wrecks for an improvised barricade when he had one of those very much undesirable chance encounters. Oh dear. Oi! You need to go! You need to run! Hey, we need help here, Shortcake! Guys, guys, don't shoot. What's going on? Let's have a civil discussion here. What's happening over here? What's happening? Hey, Kevin, talk to him. I'm gonna talk well, to him. it seems we're meeting with the National Guard at the moment. Uh, okay, guys, uh, so how are you here? There is some rumors that uh, you are uh, in some kind of ally with the uh, silly faction. Is that true? Uh, I would like to make a deal with you. Oh? 
How about uh, just be friendly, be friends between the National Guard and the Beacon faction? I think we'll have to talk about this as a group. We, we alone can't make the decision. Yeah, so do tell, what's going on with the National Guard? I can't say I've heard any good rumors about you. I well, just uh, build and uh, drink fucking alcohol. But we don't have so much to drink. But we could use someone like you. We could use someone skilled in gunplay, and if you need alcohol, we have plenty of it. I don't want it to come to bloodshed, but it's looking like that. But you, too, you man, seem to I be a reasonable fellow. I... It turns out, this meeting had given the mayor a chance to convince one of their members, Kevin, to switch sides. You're starting to understand that it doesn't have to be that way. You could defect. I don't know. I need to think a little about it. Look, if it comes down to it, I, we'll shoot, but you're reasonable. I don't want it to come you. to that. Don't worry. Alright. Godspeed. I hope that works. We could use all the manpower we can get. There was also one other National Guard member in the vicinity. Kevin's friend, Commander Friendly. It made sense to try and figure out if he was really loyal to Louis, or was only using him as a means to get his cabin back. Uh, Listen, I feel like everything is falling apart. I, I, I want to find a way that we can all come together and coexist. You know, as much as I want that, and as much I've as I've fought for it in these past few days, it just doesn't seem possible. But we can still come to a compromise. Maybe, but Silly Nation has been shown to disregard. Everything that we stand for. I lived on that island. I have that deed. You know I lived on that island. I purchased it from you. I cannot coexist with Silly Nation. That is non-negotiable. If we found a potential peaceful uh, option to deal with Silly Nation and get you your home back, would you take that over killing them? Look, some hundred years ago, land was granted in return for combat. If you would be willing to take up arms against what we deem not fit for the island, I will gladly grant you land anywhere you please. You're talking, you're talking about betraying my friends. You don't even have to betray them, but... Oh, fuck. Everyone outside, let's check out what that was. What's going on? Hey, what's happening? He wouldn't follow my arms, just kept running ahead. Sir, hands up. I need a doctor. Need a doctor. Hands up now. That was Glassbones, and now, on top of the many illnesses in his body, there was also a bullet. Just put your hands up and quit moving, we're gonna check you. Oh damn, this dude's about to die, don't take that bandage off. <laughs> hey Mayor, where'd that, where'd that National Guard go? This is really bad. Sorry, yeah. I heard you guys talking if you and just I didn't know if you guys National Guard. <sighs> All of this commotion seemed to attract the rest of the sillies, finally reuniting Glassbones with them. Hello. Hey, 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 we're good. We we escaped, but yeah, we were sieged right. by the National Guard, and I was trying to catch up with my group, and you guys shot me. So you went past the barrier. Please understand that's why. Oh, yeah. this is, it was a misunderstanding. There's no bad blood between anyone. All right. Who of who among you would you consider the leader? Me. I'm the leader. So you're the leader. Let's uh, go in the meeting room, you and I. I've heard uh, you're at war with a faction. I believe we're all at war, in a way. The National Guard has harassed and targeted us all. Yes, we've gotten that knowledge even from uh, the National Guard themselves. I have a couple I'm hoping I can get to defect before it all turns to shit, but one thing's clear is that we can't coexist. Downstairs, Octopus and Rick were having a bit of a mini reunion. We found, Rick, I found is nine that you? Magazines. I haven't seen you in so long. Rick, Look, how I have you two doing? guns. I have one gun and a shovel. Are you a Kimbo? Hey, hey, fuckers. Hey, guys, 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 guys. Uh, Kevin just pulled up. Uh, I think that someone's pulling up. Someone was indeed pulling up, with the intention to all but finalize his defection. Who the fuck's in that car? I would like to talk with the girls guy. Oh. oh, it's you! Hey, no, gun down, gun down! Hey, hey, this one's reasonable, this one's reasonable. He's one of the few we can work with. Here, I'll escort you, please, follow me. By this point, most girl gang members had joined the Beacon faction. They still had their own group identity, 
but being in the same faction means avoiding friendly fire. Very important with all the anticipated firefights. Uh, Pikmin here is a former member of the girl gang before uh, we absorb them. Hello, can we enter the building to talk in the more comfortable way? It's a bit cold out, let's go. So, I don't know who started this shit with the war, who shot first, and what happened uh, with the Goro gang. Uh, our leader said to us that uh, some of the silly nation uh, was an asshole. We killed all the zombies here, why we can't just live in peace or try to leave this island? None of us want this war, but we don't exactly have a choice. But even just well, one last uh, combatant on their side, they don't even have to fight for us. I see the semblance of tyranny in your faction. And I know now that that cannot exist. And there's only one way to get rid of it. Okay, I understand you. But can I at least try to talk with some guys in our group? Maybe I could convince them. Though the meeting had gone well, Beacon now had far more people at its base than ever before and this surplus of hungry mouths would lead to a great tragedy. Dude, there is no food in here. Oh do you my think god. It's some of us got to loot? Because, like, we have no food. What'd you just do? No, I, think I think I somebody... just accidentally butchered Lucy. Sure? What the fuck did you do? It was on accident, I fucking swear. Okay. What the what fuck you... did you do? <laughs> I butchered fucking all, dude. I'm, I'm telling you, I... He fucking hey, yeah, butchered yeah, yeah. Big Lucy. Shot. He butchered Big They Lucy. wouldn't understand. On the opposite side of the map, over in the dockyard, the National Guard were having a few fish-related issues of their own. Having any luck? No, there's no fish. This is blasted. Can you head awesome. to the garage, please? We we were need a, we're having a meeting. Everyone, come in here. Come into the garage, please. Okay. Thing is, we outgunned them. We don't have a lot of manpower, though. So these operations have to go off without a hitch, or we need to pick up new members of our army. So at least we need to be able to deal with the silly faction, no casualties. Most of their weapons consist of shotguns and shitty rifles, so we should be able to deal with them pretty easily. Actually, one of our, one of our members is uh, currently doing well, peace I mean, talks, Bear, so... I mean, you're going to be fighting, or, you, or not? I'm a non-combatant. Bear Cohen, the National Guard's resident reporter, was actually just about to leave and make his first island-wide broadcast. He'd got a whole studio set up in preparation, and many players had gathered around radios in anticipation. With the ears of the whole island eager to get all the news they'd missed, Cohen switched on his broadcaster and started his report. Good evening, Kingsmith. This is WBLN. I'm Bear Cohen, filling in for usual. By now, you're all grimly aware of our top story. The dead are returning to life. These are our final days, ladies and gentlemen. Make them count. As Mayor Balderman made the populace of Kingsmith aware, no supplies are believed to be inbound for Kingsmith at this time. However, reports of wreckage from the USS Effa have been coming in over the uh, span of the evening. Supplies are washing ashore, including crates containing who knows. The National Guard reminds the populace that martial law is in effect. Murder and theft will not be tolerated. Friends, in these dark days, it is important to look to your fellow human being. Despite the actions of the silly nation giving ample reason to keep others at arm's distance, this unprecedented disaster has illustrated the importance of working together. Good night and good luck. The report, despite all the information it held, did not, in fact, go down well with the public. Don't believe their lies! Look at a fucking lie! Just shut up! Rigged! Yeah. Yeah. I fucking hope It's a bloody oh, destroyed damn it. Why not do People felt, perhaps rightly so, that Bear Cohen's reporting had a slight bias to his own faction's interest. It seemed the only one with ties to the National Guard that could be trusted was Kevin. Try not to tell them too much, but you need to keep your stories. You need to keep it straight, you need to keep it consistent. You've been gone for a long time at this point, and I'm sure they've taken note of that. Okay, I'm letting this man leave. I'll escort him to his vehicle. Okay, I'm about to go now. Alright, best of luck, soldier. Far off into the woods, Lumber Joe had just recovered from being shot in the head. Being so far away from the others had helped him avoid catching any more bullets, 
but the seclusion was also necessary for his big plan. He had sharpened his trusty wood axe as it was time for him to prove his name and to flex his carpentry levels. saw in a board and I'll cut it I'll climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind whenever No matter what the weather We're together It wasn't long before Kevin arrived back to the National Guard. With the end of the ceasefire getting ever closer, he tried one last time to convince the others to join him in defection. Because you know what? I saw a lot of people there. They How we are outnumbered. I say we, I say we kill him. Well, it seemed the others were too angry and too loyal to hear him out. I am going to note that they are asking for people to, like, murder and execute members of the U.S. military. We're just, we're just gonna shoot them. We have en enough armor to outlast them. Guys, is Kevin around here? He went away with the Okay, people. Kevin told everyone that he was talking with silly people, like he was uh, making peace talks. But uh, when I asked uh, if they maybe are at the Beacon's base, he denied it. He said he was at the Beacon's base, but he didn't saw any silly people. I don't trust this guy. Kevin had left with a couple others. The faction's doctor and commander friendly. Those who he hoped would choose reason over loyalty to Louis. Why you think he will stop on the silly faction? What if he would like to kill Goro Gang or even the White House guys? You know, in next 50 minutes, war will start. And maybe they don't have M16 like us, but they have uh, allies, Girls Gang and the Lighthouse Boys. And we are alone. So let's get back to the base and try to talk with our guys. Let's try at least. Ah, hell! Hey, everyone, oh, everyone, oh, follow me. Everyone, get in the car. Why? We're no, going I'm hunting. Sorry. Don't worry, man. I will take a car and come to you. We need you two cars at least for this. I will come. Don't worry. I see what you mean by you don't trust that guy. He's literally trying to get people to leave. He's gonna go back there and try to get people to leave. Turn around. We're having no. a coup. What's he gonna do? I don't gonna really. Listen to him. Louis was certainly right about that. His word as corporal certainly had more say than that of a recruit. That being said. A higher rank isn't everything, and it certainly doesn't guarantee you a good driver. That's a grill. An acute observation there from Commander Friendly. I'm in so much pain, I'm almost dead. After having his second in command steal a car for them, one they need for any upcoming raids, Louis turned around and headed back to base, not before passing Kevin one more time. Well, I'm very sad. It's just out for propane. Go back to the base. Go back to the base. I heard you Russian talking about not going back. 
If you want to stop this war, then come with me. Come with me, bro. If you want to stop this shit. Don't worry. You, you will be alive. Just come with me. Had Kevin managed to finally convince Commander Friendly? He had not. Louis may have his faults, but the National Guard was a unit, and a unit sticks together. The leaders of the Beacon and the Silly Nation had earlier agreed to meet with Bear Cohen for an interview, and despite the upset that was his previous broadcast, they were still hoping that they could clarify to him their situation. They'd have to be careful though, there was a chance that this interview could run past the end of the truce. I was just uh, working on the wall a bit. If somebody could go uh, put stuff behind the wall so it uh, can't be pushed in, that'd be appreciated. But it's about time for the interview. Alright, alright. Just, uh, we're going to the pier. I'm proud of this little wall. Driving through what seemed like a never-ending scattering of corpses, Mayor Balderman and Gino were preparing to meet with the reporter. Mayor, I swear to you, the shit that was on the radio is not true. We're good people. It really is. Trying to survive. Hey, Mayor. for the interview. Hello. Hello. I brought Rich because he's the sanest, one of the sanest people that we've got. Yes, you have a fleeting handful, I've noticed. Do we want to do this inside or outside? Probably yeah, inside, better acoustics. You have my word, we will not shoot you without provocation, but that goes for you, yeah. as one of the reasonable members. It was then that the mayor was informed of Kevin's return, and his inability to convert any other National Guard members. Shortcake, Doster, one of you can take my place for this uh, interview. Harry, they're gonna be conducting their interview in here, uh, let's go up the pier. Kevin, if you don't want this war, then help us. It's time to convert, Kevin. Abandon your faction. Okay. This is the only way I can ensure your safety. Yes. So what are we doing? Yeah. Let's take Richie. Let's go. All right, time for war. Time for war. I don't like the sound of that. Well, that doesn't sound great. It turns out that the two-hour ceasefire had just ended. There were to be no further questions asked this interview. All right, get sniper support out. Morgan Miles, a former girl gang member, was more than ready for this. For her, National Guard members were now kill on sight. Fuck, where'd Richie go? Escaped, most likely. Girl gang, anybody seen Richie? Give me a second. Here! Has anybody oh. seen Richie? Um, oh shit! Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, yes! He's fucking dead. Holy shit. Everybody, everybody, uh, Richie's just been taken out. We're taking bear hostage. It seemed that, despite efforts to prevent it, the war was now in full swing. Make sure Hi. Hi. Um, bear, hey, can you please uh, stay where you are? What happened to Richie? And put your hands up, hey, bear. Actually. Um, so are you a member of the National Guard? I am a civilian contractor of the device. National Guard. Guns down, gun okay. down. Okay. Um, if you could please place your gun on the floor. Um, we're going to have to take uh, temporary possession of you. You are arresting a reporter. I'm a member of the press, is... and you killed okay. my bodyguard. You killed my friend. I my kill friend. Are you refusing? What happened to Richie? You killed him in the middle of my interview. Bear, I would politely ask you to leave your faction. This is your last one. You're no longer a contractor, buddy. You killed my friend. And now you're dead too. Right, gang? Oh Girls, God. We, we should reunite with the rest Girl of the gang! Girl gang, slay! Girl gang. War is happening. Mayor, I feel like it'd be best if we were inside in safety. Everyone is staying here. Get inside. This is bad. This is bad. Louis was taking his soldiers to get revenge. Right now, nothing else mattered. Everyone in this car, right? Okay. Now. Shouldn't we close the gate before we go? Who cares? Thinking he was the guard's biggest target, Gino moved to the safest position the lighthouse could provide and got ready to hunker down. Important people need to come upstairs. They don't need to risk them dying. Snipers also need to be up here. Godspeed, gentlemen. I think if you guys are nervous, I have 121 cigarettes. Dude, I'm just hungry. I'm Holy sure. shit! Whilst some players were busy smoking their way through this rapidly escalating conflict, Emeralds and some girl gang members were ready to bring the fight to the National Guard, 
Thinking that they might be preparing an assault at the military base, they geared up and headed north. Yeah, Daddy, come on, follow me. We're gonna go Rambo. Here, let's grab a car quickly. Uh, everybody load up, get enough food for two days. Oh, to go to the military base? Yeah, okay, me and Adi are gonna be uh, scouts, I guess, and also Rambos. All right, through this way, there should be a, um, an opening in the fence. All right, I'm taking out my two-handed. Remember, shoot first, ask questions later. Do you still that, have that pipe bomb I gave you? It would seem they were right about the National Guard being here. A couple beacon scavengers were also in the military base, and the girl gang duo were about to watch their final moments. Person, uh, person in black, uh, up in between the mess hall and the, uh... Hello, fellas. How are we doing? Uh, it's speaking, sure. it's speaking. Kill them all. What? what? And what are we doing? Are we good? Are we not good? Somebody tell me if I'm supposed to... Emeralds knew it was time to grab that pipe bomb she'd made. What she didn't know was that you can't throw them through windows. Oi! Is this how she's doing? Fuck, 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 I'm dead, I'm burning, oh, I'm God. burning up! Bail, bail, back to the car, back to the car. We need to get out of here. Back to, get back come to the car. Up, come here, come here. Rick Toffin, let Rick Toffin check you out and then we'll get back to the car and we're leaving. When word of the deaths reached Mayor Balderman, he was beside himself. Shortcake! <laughs> Emeralds! Oh, did they, for did they do an attack? What happened? Though he'd rather do anything but lead a militia against other survivors, that left him with no other choice. He'd pick up the remaining girl gang recruits and take everyone to that military base. Everybody in part of the raid, come with me to girl gang Are you coming for the raid? We're gonna wanna bring vehicles. One final preparation had to be made. It was time to bring all those opposed to the National Guard under one banner. The Silly Nation and the Beacon were no more. Taking their place was the Coalition, Kingsmouth's answer to Corporal Louis. Somebody else lead the charge. I want to make sure we're going to the right place. We have eight people in this group. It truly has been. Listen, these guys, they spec'd into gunplay. We have to be careful. We need to exterminate these evil, evil creatures. Attention, anybody on this frequency, have we found out where uh, the National Guard is? Listen, they could be hiding. They could have guerrilla warfare going on. Whilst they couldn't find the National Guard anywhere, they did stumble upon someone else by an unassuming hole in the fence. Hey, hey, hey. That, that's Lumber, Lumber. Lumber Joe, walk over here. Hands up. There's a large hole in the wall over there. We've made contact with an outsider, Lumber Joe. We found Lumber Joe uh, over on the runway. There seems to be a very large hole, and large enough to fit a car. Louis knew that they couldn't stay in the military base after the shootings. He'd made the right call and brought his soldiers into town to hide out and plan what to do next. I picked up like eight boxes of shotgun shells off of Emerald if anybody needs them. Uh, we don't need shotgun engines. Okay, so how many people uh, have uh, sniper rifles? We could try a surprise attack on the girl gang. I know where they're based at. Listen, listen. Kevin betrayed us, and he was talking. He was he was making okay, peace fine. talks. Okay, Follow with... me. I know the best place to you know ambush them. Come on, follow me. He ordered his troops to move a few buildings over to the hospital and sneak in through a window. One soldier named Liquid had, however, forgotten that smashed glass hurts quite a bit. Oh, fuck! Are you, no, are you fucking... Why you oh good? my god, you're no! Good. This is a hospital. We can probably find to use some medical supplies. Bro, why did you do that? Friendly, follow me. We're going to the roof. They'd been by this hospital before. They'd met a doctor who once stood in the same spot as them. But the start of this war led it to be abandoned, and now this place of healing was host to a military operation. With Liquid now bandaged, they were once again on the move, sneaking one block closer to the Coalition's base. This is yeah, we're clear. We're like a fucking tactical team. We'll sweep the place. I promise you, my soldiers, we'll win this, and we'll kill them all. You see that? Oh, there, that's the girl gang hideout. Okay, let's go. Shh, be very quiet. Not a word. Not a word. 
back, fall back, fall back. We know where they are now. Despite Louis's instructions, Commander Friendly had not fallen back. He'd found himself in an almost perfect position, hidden and far away from his targets, but with the unobstructed line of sight. He could see them, but they couldn't see him. Fuck, get that man. Oh fuck, oh, me, 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 sniper, sniper, sniper. Ah, oh, fuck, ow. Sniper here, sniper here, sniper, sniper, sniper. Oh, you got shot? Yeah, there's someone here. There's a sniper. They're, they're in that direction. That direction. Where's I Kevin? Think. Where's Kevin? I think I. Fuck my leg. My leg broke. Did you get shot? Yeah, two times. Two times. Two times. Uh, visual. I have visual. I have visual. I, Over. I, 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 I hear someone. Oh, oh fuck. shit. They, Are you the one wanna... shooting? Kevin. Kevin has oh, been no. shot. Kevin has been shot. With Kevin dead and that they were under attack evident. Those coalition members, still at the lighthouse, were desperately trying to radio in those at the military base. Hello, can anyone hear me? Hello. Hi, this is, uh, hey, they have, uh, they have snipers at our base, at the lighthouse. Uh, hey, can you repeat um, that? so, guys, uh, we need to go back to the lighthouse. They have snipers and they're taking out people. Roger Kevin's that. dead, they... Oh, no. they hit the Kevin didn't deserve to go. We need to go. Okay. Should we return back base? Yes. We need to go. Remember, snipers, be ready. Despite having finally taken out the traitorous Kevin, Louis was not impressed with Commander Friendly's actions. He saw a daytime attack like this as far too much of a risk. Nice. Ooh, reveal our position, dude. We have to, we have to go now. Yeah, he's right. We gotta go. We gotta go. us. Go. go. I'll go. cover you. In actuality, no one had seen them. The Coalition hadn't even considered the floating houses as a possible vulnerability. I'm sure very tired. Okay, fine, let's get- let's rest in this gas station. Hey, tell you what, do you wanna move over to that uh, house over there? We'll have to be closer. Yeah, 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 that's what I was thinking. I don't think I can take this trip, man. We got- dude, listen, we got this. I can see their fence from here. But they didn't do anything. Silly Nation is the one we're supposed to be attacking, not them. They're all the same, man. They've all merged together. By now, part of the Coalition's militia was arriving back from the military base, and quickly, though unknowingly, approaching the National Guard's position. Okay, hold left, hold left. Okay, guns out. I say we move into the police station. Fine, we'll hide there, hide there till, till nightfall. Shh, shh. Contacts at the police station. I think there's contacts at the police station. Run, 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 run. This way, this way, this way. Two coalition fighters had been downed and the rest scared off. The National Guard had fled too but it seemed their leader had been separated from them during the shootout. There's Lewis! This way, this way, this way. Lewis! This way, this way. I didn't see him come back. Might be dead. We should have just surrendered. Oh my god, we should just surrender. Shut up! Let no man, no man. We, we, we already killed one, we already killed one, man. I can't do this. I can't. I can't do it either, man, but we have to stay strong, we have to stay strong. Ooh, money. I think we need to surrender. That's okay. coward talk, man. Even if Lewis is dead, we got two other members in the boathouses. We should rendezvous who the boathouses and get back together. Yes, just move. Go. Come on, now. Who was that? Oh, it's hey, Lewis. Right here. Hey, it's us, it's us, it's us, it's us. Hey, Lewis. Oh, thank okay. God. So here's oh, how things so are so things... Let me give you a status update. Okay. So basically, after you guys did that, a couple of them went and they are continuing to hide in the lighthouse. My boys are continuing to shoot them. Get over here. Alright. For now, one to go fight it. Uh, we're gonna try and regroup. We're gonna regroup at the lighthouse. Um, my best Eleanor, bet right, right now is to just stay together and be aware. We yes, are not hiding in the dark. Yes, go, stay together. Go, 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 go. Everyone with guns, move ahead. Go, go, go. Is that contact? Go, 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 go. I'm go, hit, go. I'm hit, I'm hit. Ah, use the barriers! The mayor, nor anyone of his faction, knew where they were being shot at from. 
so they were left standing on the wrong side of their barricades and shooting wildly into the dark. Holy fuck, there's a lot of them. I don't have that kind of range. I just got hit again. Hit. Keep going, keep going. Where are they? I'm hit, I'm hit. Oh They're shit, oh, uh, Where are oh they? shit. Uh, if you need medical, the by the white car, cars. white car medical, white car medical. Hey god, I can, I can only do so much. Where? Deep wound, oh god. Jesus, where are they? Are they even here? Louis was still deciding on what the National Guard's next move would be, but they'd all been in a constant state of readiness for a long time, and Medic Richthofen needed a break whilst they had the advantage like this. Go down into the lower bu lower bungalows if you can, and rest up for a bit. Just sit on the ground in the bathroom of a back, of a back room somewhere. She's... she oil payback for taking mine. House. One of the Coalition's medics, Jax, was doing anything but resting. Field first aid in conditions like this was not safe or easy. Oh shit, they're shooting at us, they're shooting at us. Get back behind the car. Come on, the white van. Oh shit, oh shit. Where are they? Oh shit, I've been shot. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I'm, I'm bleeding out, I'm bleeding out. Becky just went down. They killed Becky. Please, no! They're on the pier. Oh shit, oh shit. I'm gonna die, it's so over. Yeah, it's I'm over. So, I'm sorry. No, no! I don't even know where it's coming from. Eleanor, you need to find cover. Where are they shooting from then? I don't know come where these fuckers are. Come to me. Push the pier, push the pier. Not the pier, but uh, Girl Gang's original base. That must be where they are. I found them! They're in the uh, girl gang! They're at the girl gang base! Ugh. Attention everyone on this frequency! Do not peek! They're at the girl gang base! That's where they're firing from! See guys, this is why I told you not to doubt my tactical ability. They're, they're coming down, they're coming down. Okay, okay, go. Leave, 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 leave. What? Where, where, where? where? We're, Rick Jeff and we're, we're out. We're to the, uh, to the, uh, go to the, uh, the place. We're all gonna die. We're all gonna fucking die. Like when... Shut up, you know? liquid! One more time, that we are going to die, and I would kill you myself. Where's the mayor? I'm here! I'm here! Does everybody know where they were? They were at the girl gang space! Yeah. They were sniping from the girl gang space! Okay, guys, so, uh, so what's the plan from here? Circle mm. around the yeah, resort? Just him. Eventually, it'll be day. We don't have much time. Okay, we should circle around the resort. Everyone, come on. Let's go. Come on, come on, let's go. Let's go. By this point, most of the Coalition knew where they'd been shot at from, though searching the floating cabins revealed nothing but piles of bullet casings. They'd missed any chance at avenging the many, many deaths the National Guard had inflicted. We need to wait for the angry people to push out alone and we kill them. I'll take down these two zombies. Let's take a quick break in here. Everyone, everyone, come on, come on. Unbeknownst to the National Guard, they were about to receive at least a small taste of their own medicine, in the form of Morgan Miles, the girl gang sniper. Where's Liquid? I think they went to the hospital. Hold on, let me go check. I'll be back. Okay, okay. There's people here! People here! People here! People here! Help me! Ah, fuck, alright. Move in here! Now! Move, move, move! Snag! Snag! Commander Friendly had been killed without ever having made it back to his cabin. For the National Guard, they'd just lost their second in command. But for the Coalition, they'd just taken out a mass murderer, the one who shot the mayor and killed both of their medics. Vengeance! Good fucking job, Morgan! I got his ass. Vengeance for all the other ones. It seemed the girl gang wasn't done with the National Guard just yet though. Eleanor had captured Liquid and had no intention of letting them get away for their crimes. I kill the Fluid Helix and I, hear it it and I kill... He's very close yeah, that's as far back as it goes. Nice job, nice job, very nice job. Those National Guard members who escaped the resort found themselves once again stationed in the hospital, trying their best to recover. But those members lucky enough to still be alive weren't ready to forget those who weren't. 
Let's hold a memorial stuff. service. Yeah, it sucks. You guys ready? I'll uh, do the service here. In memorial of our fallen soldiers, Rich PK, Bear Cohen, Liquid, Friendly, Maniac, and uh, others, you died in service of our nation. Your deaths will not be in vain. You will be avenged. I'll keep on fighting for you. That's fine. <laughs> shh, shh, shh. I don't care who the hell you are. I'm done. Come out. If you're National Guard, then put up a fight. Get out. Hey. Fuck, I got Raccoon! I got Raccoon! Holy hell, I killed Raccoon. Raccoon had died. Unable to be free from the National Guard in his final moments, just as he never truly escaped from them in life. Let's go. Go, 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 go. I want to get the hell out of here. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. With the National Guard driving off, and the Coalition in complete disarray, the future of Kingsmouth had never been more uncertain. Any hopes for peace had been well and truly dashed. Remaining survivors were in a worse position than when the undead roamed unopposed. It seemed they'd all just traded one evil for another. Rick Witherspoon had actually spent most of the previous session out in the woods with the cabin dwellers. He didn't want to be caught in the middle of a war that wasn't his to fight. That being said, he still had friends out there, and they might now need his help. Well, I suppose it should be about time I be leaving. I'm afraid I've got unfinished business. Maybe I will see you on the other side. There is no other side, we're all gonna die. Uh-huh. It wasn't long before Rick walked out of the forest, found himself a car, and drove into town. There he came upon a pair of survivors he'd met before at the lighthouse. Rick, were you, are you okay? What happened to you? Glass Bones and his friend were out on a secret mission, though they were not immune to distractions. Oh my god, that's the lunch lady! How are you fine folks today? I'm doing mighty fine lunch lady, Doris. Hey, can I have some yeah, food? Doing, you got any really spare? good. Absolutely, I happen to have a combo meal on me. Oh my <gasps> god. Yes. Somehow, Dolores had managed to remain neutral throughout all of this fighting. We got a toy. That's a nice lunchbox. Oh, She's got a yo-yo, Dibs. You boys enjoy, that. all right? Thank you, hey, lunch lady. Thank you, ma'am. I am going to tell you, Ooh, uh, just be careful in this area. There's a lot of violent guys going on, and something might be going down in like the next 10 minutes. I love you, lunch lady. I love you, God, too. I'll, lunch see, lady. I'll see you boys later, all right? It was time, though, for Glass Bones to execute the plan he had worked up between sessions. Are we really taking Rick as well? Why? What's going yeah, on? I might as well. Because he doesn't know what's going on. No, sh I, I know. Rick, there's National Guard up the road. With Louis desperate for any more support, Glass Bones had told him he intended to defect. Louis either didn't think to question or wasn't in a position to do so. Even with their previous victories, Things were looking grim for his unit. Now everyone be very quiet while we wait for glass bones, okay? Hey Rick, I'm gonna need your help up here too. I'd suggest you get down, we have a sniper. Oh shit. I'd suggest you drop your weapons. Yeah guys, drop the guns. Just trust it. Trust the process. Right now, you're gonna wanna drop all everything you own. Including that helmet, I could use that. Oh come on, I got this from Kevin. Well you see, Kevin betrayed us. You're dropping me that helmet and your backpack. Oh. This officer is not a very talkative one. Officer, I'm calling to you. Were you at the lighthouse? This officer is very slow in the brain. No, I just I can't understand. You've got a very heavy accent. I know, it's very beautiful. Rick had been caught up in the middle of all of this. The plan hadn't been properly explained to him, and now he was in a more dangerous position than he'd ever been when stationed with the Coalition. Well, you see, now I'm gonna be the leader. I'm gonna be in charge and I'll do what needs to be done. What Rick didn't know was that Glass Bones had told Gino of this meeting. With this being potentially the only chance for him to do so, Gino was getting ready to take his shot at Louis. This way, this way, you're going the wrong way. You're going the wrong, yeah, this way, dum dum. They'd set up in the school across the road, hoping to use the second floor's elevation and take out the National Guard's leader from afar. Fuck, we can't get a fucking shot. Come on, Lewis, get the fuck over here, buddy.
Get in, get in, get in. He got shot, he got shot. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 Do you see them? I'm hit. They're there. Fuck, I'm most definitely dead. Get ready to fire, Tony. It was now that Glassbones decided to see his plans through to the end. He'd deceived the National Guard thus far. One final trick, and he'd be gone. What is happening over there? Doctor, left side, left side, down here, down here. Get back, get back, get back, get back. Get back. <laughs> no one was there to witness Richtofen's death. It seemed the others had run off to find the would-be assassins. Fuck! Fuck, I'm dead. What? Got them, got them. Was this him? Oh, that was Gino! I, I killed Gino. It was only now that Louis realized the betrayal. He'd killed his greatest enemy, but lost one of his earliest recruits. I think the doctor died. Wait a minute. He lied. Yeah, he betrayed Vanish us. Films was a spy. Some coalition members, a few blocks over, had heard the gunfire, loaded up into a truck, and were now on their way to the school. The National Guard had taken too much from them, and they weren't ready to let them escape again. Alright, I'm gonna drive us to an area. I think they are. Everybody keep your guns out, get ready. Shoot at anything that moves. If anyone needs shotgun shells, there's 70 of them in the glove box. There's no amount of life that I'm willing to take in order to ensure the National Guard dies. The school the shootout occurred in was the one Lunch Lady Dolores was employed by. Luckily for her, she was out running errands, but unfortunately, her luck wouldn't be lasting very long. We got a car, we're drifting. Sick drifts. There we go, sick drifts. Let's check our drive through. Who parked a car? Right there. Oh, hey, buddy. It's lunch Hello. Lady. Oh my gosh, Lunch Lady Dolores. Wait, right, Lunch Lady Dolores? Up. How are you? We all okay, Lunch Lady Dolores. Who are you with? Oh, Jesus, not you guys. Holy shit. It's me! Oh, shit, now! Shit. Three more people had fallen victim to Louis' soldiers. Morgan Miles, who had killed Commander Friendly, had barely made it out alive. I got shot four oh, times. Oh, fucking Christ. Please not drive too fast, please don't If you crash, I die. If you crash, I die. Morgan was being rushed out of there. She may be the best shot outside of the National Guard, but no one's that good when they're bleeding as profusely as she was. Gamers! Don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot, don't oh, shoot, please. Oh, hey. I need to help out my homie. What do you Morgan, need? Morgan, what you need? I have some bandages. Currently I full offer. bullets inside me. I need a fucking smoke after that. Holy shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I bet. They got Dolores, man. She didn't do nothing wrong. I left Silly Nation or the Coalition because I I didn't want to be shot on sight. Uh, the national count she... the national count does not care at all. You wanna you wanna make your own separate little thing then? Sure, please let's just get out of here. I'm shot up to shit. Let's I don't wanna it. go yeah. on the all right, let's, let's, let's go first. Let's go, let's go first. Okay. Alright, alright. Where where do you guys wanna go for shelter? <laughs> uh, we have no uh, idea. With the coalition fractured the Silly Nation's leader dead, and the mayor stuck camping out in the National Guard's old base. Even he was losing faith in their ability to maintain a unified faction. Look, with the way things are going, this island is done for. We're not gonna... Th this just isn't going to work. We need to get out of here. You got a boat? No. Yeah, do you have a boat? Yeah, that's I have an I idea. idea. Tell me more. Look, look at these logs. Look at these planks. I think if we can just gather some materials. Too. Yeah, exactly. And look, there's other carpenters on the island. We don't know when the National Guard is going to get back. I think we just take what we can and leave. Uh, there is Wait, another can, can uncontacted on group on the people? island. The Lumber Faction. There is? Yeah, and look, when we were in, when we were in the military them. base looking for them, them, we found a hole in the wall large enough to fit a vehicle. 
and I think this is our last ditch chance. If they refuse us, I don't know what we're to do. It seemed that though they'd remained neutral, and very little was known about them by the coalition, all their hope now rested on the shoulders of the cabin dwellers. To the airfield! I hate the zomboid cars. We had so many survivors at the beginning. We all banded together. We were all outgunned immediately. What are we supposed to do? This is where we saw Lumber Joe come out of. We uh, almost arrested him. I'm so glad we didn't shoot. I'm glad I recognized him. And look at all these locks and planks. Raise our hands, raise our hands. Look, it's their discretion here that is going to protect us. Hello? Hey, hello there. It's you, Lumber Joe! Hey. Look, everything and, went to uh, shit. The beacons, uh, we assimilated with two other groups, we became the coalition, it's all gone. If King's Buff is down for it, then uh, I suppose we might as well take you in, because I've been chopping some trees over there by the cars, and I'm preparing to build something of a raft, one could say. It turns out, the cabin dwellers had the exact same plan as the mayor. We're preparing to leave, and yeah, well, who better to ask than the resident the carpenters? Oh, yeah, all we need is a bit of nails, I think, and uh, we should be able to make something. Said nails? I didn't find much, but I have about 32. Alright, here's what I want to do. I want to go to the National Guard's base. I'm thinking we can use the tires to fl uh, have extra flotation on the raft. Here's what we're going to do. We're gonna be- we're gonna quietly approach the National Guard base. If there's any sign Listen. of life, then we don't. Yes, I, mean, I am sorry if it's come to this. I never wanted this. Nothing's been moved since we got here. Perfect. Should we turn the car off? Yeah. Alright. Here's what we need. We need, uh, I'm gonna pop the tires off their vehicles. Uh, I need you to look for metalworking shh, four. Shh, shh, shh. It seemed the National Guard's base wasn't as abandoned as they'd hoped. And more than that, they knew someone had been there whilst they were away. Hey, okay, I'll go talk to oh, them. Oh, they are here. Yeah, let me- I'll, I'll parlay, I'll parlay. It's Rick. You can trust me. I've got my arms up. I'll disarm if you want. I know you're in here. Yeah, we're gonna wa watch down the road just in case. Please come out, they're fucking psychos! Please! Le let me join you, they're fucking psychos! Please! Let me in! They tried to kill me! They think ah! Mayor, where are you? Oh, fuck. What happened? No, no, they're gone for now. We gotta hurry, though. What do we need again? Right, we need a generator mag, metalworking books, nails, propane, tires, leather. Nails are the big thing. Back over in the woods, it seemed yet another survivor had shown up seeking refuge. Though with his recent actions, his situation was a little different to the others. Glass, glass bones. You can have. What you do you need to help with? Uh, I kind of did some bad stuff. Yeah, I was with the National Guard, and I killed Rectoffen, one of their doctors, and and Silly Nation's <sighs> dead. They're all dead. They're coming after you guys. National Guard's coming to kill you guys. They're on it all kill family. On They've killed everyone. Silly Nation. They're going after everyone. So they're looking for you, right? They're looking for me because they killed my friends and I killed their doctor. Let him live, but he can't have our name, otherwise... otherwise That's what the thing is. Wait, what are you doing? He's, if he's with them, he, they're all going to come after us if he's with us. If Why did we could have we let here. him go? The cabin dwellers' paranoia, grounded as it was, had now led them to take out one of their bravest potential allies. He'd fought long and hard to get this far, but it seemed someone had finally shattered those glass bones of his. Morgan Miles, stitched up and resting in the empty resort, found herself amidst a few of her old faction mates that was prior to it merging with the Beacon and then the Coalition. Also, by the way, I propose, uh... What do we do? We remake Girl Gang then? Uh, I'd be down. The last person who had any claim at being leader just, just got fucking domed. I don't super care about that. Just do whatever. I'm constantly anxious. No, me too. I'm just waiting to be sniped from like far away. Yeah, that's the thing. Not this is about. why I told you to yeah. go into the hotel because here they cannot have the elevation advantage. They're always gonna have the advantage. We have things. no aiming. I have aiming. Yeah, but we have also, like no aiming at all. Could kill me. 
The way I see it, our choices are die in a pointless assault or just wait and wait, which is not very fun, so... It turns out they wouldn't have to wait long at all, though. From the same position, with her targets in almost the exact same place, Morgan would get to have one more go at the National Guard. Got him! That's it, that's it! Oh my god, I got him. I got him, it's over. It's finally over. The mayor didn't yet know of Louis's death, though pulling up to the seaside cavern, he was about to learn of someone else's. Kira, who'd once founded the cavern dwellers, and who'd just taken the life of glass bones, was in some very hot water for doing so. Hello? Hello, 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 it's us. Someone just died. We, yeah. Because I killed them. What? You, the national, he was started rambling about the National Guard saying that they're coming after us, they're killing everyone. You're and so, and uh, he's being them? hunted by them, so I killed him because if he's we over us here, to go away. he would have mentioned us and they would have came after us. I'm just think thinking for everyone's safety here. Hold on. Don't worry about it, okay? Look, you I'm can, not... it's fine if you guys want to leave, I understand because I killed someone. I'm getting off this island. There's nothing for me here anymore. Same. You think, I wanna go uh, back to Riverside in, in fucking tank, Kentucky. I wanna see well, I'm sure everything is going great there. Those who had made it this far were the lucky ones. There wasn't a single one among them unaffected by this war. Even though some had called Kingsmouth home all their lives, they were ready to put the island far, far behind them. How are you feeling? Tired. One more push, one last push is all we need, and then we can pretty much guarantee our safety. And hopefully, we might be able to round together a last couple people before we make our escape. The National Guard's leader may be dead, and its fighting force completely dismantled. But one soldier did remain, and hid one thing left to do for his unit. Uh, my dad, by now, later told me I should come here uh, to bury case and my other comrades bodies I'm just gonna bring their bodies there you were a great leader and it was nice knowing you officer friendly even though we didn't know each other that well it was even more fun just shooting with you at those people that killed rich it is pretty sad you know it wasn't just him paying respects to the fallen for as many members of the National Guard were dead, twice as many of their victims lay at rest across Kingsmouth. Oh shit, it's that person that they executed. Ricks with the spoons. Put him in the trunk, we'll give him a burial. After grabbing some rope for the raft, they had only a few things left to get before they were ready to leave. Alright, I recognize where we are. That's a human corpse. They'd picked up Rick's body, and then come upon raccoons. Both players once sought their escape from the National Guard, and both met their ends down barrel of their rifles. One more body was about to make soil of the ground though, the last surviving member of the National Guard. The Lighthouse, once a stronghold more than half the total survivors called home, was now occupied by only six. The newly re-established girl gang had made it theirs, and just as doing so marked the beginning of a new chapter for them, it also marked the ending of a previous one for many others. The war affected I'm all. putting down all of my armor. Yeah, well, uh, I set out uh, back to the uh, mini hospital that I was originally working at, uh, set up on the roof. Well, I was glad to kind of see uh, a bunch of friendly faces. It was kind of weird. Before everything kind of kicked off, I was approached by girl gang, I was approached by National Guard, pretty much everybody, and everyone was just kind of like, oh, cool, he's a medic on a roof. Honestly, it's been such an adventure. Sophie and I here, we started out as drifters. We wanted to be neutral, but things ran, you know, we kept running into factions and stuff, and plans had to change. We had to adapt. So for the future, I mean... Like, ostensibly, I like you all, and uh, I'm really glad that all of you are around. I've just lost a lot of good girls uh, since yeah. we started, and uh, I guess I'm probably gonna try and learn something more practical from one of you, because Kingsmouth 
as far as I can tell, is safe now. So I'm probably yeah. just gonna, I don't know, learn some carpentry or uh, maybe uh, enroll with, with a good doctor as well. Uh, time will tell, time will tell. I'm just very hopeful yeah, that I don't need to feel people with lead anymore. That was not something I particularly enjoyed. It just had to be done. The events of Kingsmouth's apocalypse had begun and ended around a campfire by the lighthouse. But this one was attended by an entirely different group. Maybe they'd have better luck this time around. It was at this point that the mayor, one of only two survivors from that first campfire, was returning to the site of the raft's construction. Hey, a zombie. Haven't seen one of those in a while. This could have been humanity's bastion. Now it's just a show of humanity's so, hubris. What sparked this entire war? I don't know. The tensions were on the rise, and I knew we just couldn't coexist with the National Guard. I wanted to, I really did. But no matter where you went, there were only bad stories about them, and the survivors were scars to tell it. How do I know you guys are the good guys? How do we know you are? I haven't killed anyone, have you? Luckily not, but at the same time I wish I could say yes. Maybe I could have saved some of my comrades. Look, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to insinuate anything. No, just... it's fine, I get it. Hearing all the stories, it's... I don't know. They worked hard to make the vessel seaworthy, and to equip it with everything they might need to survive the journey that lay ahead. They'd finished on their sail, and it was almost ready for their final escape from Kingsmouth. You're the mayor of this town. I let her you just say that you are. I was the mayor before everything went down, but I could hardly say I am now. Let's just say I'm not getting re-elected next time around. Oh, We're gonna get out of here, and it's all gonna yeah. be behind us. Keen's mouth. The world's gonna the be cat. different, but... Alright, mm. the raft, uh, the boat, whatever you want to call it, it's nearing completion. Uh, we just need to load her up, but I want to see if I can't find more people. So, we heard some voices in the resort, but it didn't sound like any of the members of the National Guard. It sounded like remnants of the girl gang, actually. I want to get as many people off of here as possible, but if we have any risk of them being unfriendly, I don't want any part of them. Though he didn't care for the island anymore, Cliff Balderman did still care for its people. He decided to try and contact the surviving girl gang members and offer them a place on the boat. Soon, the cavern dwellers were pulling up to the girl gang's base, ready to see what they thought of the raft plan. You guys want to come with us on a raft? Uh, I think uh, most of us I want to, to stay, stay here. Thank you for the invitation, though. They don't want to come with us. They don't want to come. Lumber Joe. Lumber Joe. Oh shit, Lumber Joe, hey. you're okay. Lumber Joe. Yeah, it's me. My I'm man, sure. didn't you get shot in the head? Yeah, yeah what the I, heck? Did. I, I did. I did. You look, <laughs> you look pretty good. Alright, so here's the detail. I don't know how much of the National Guard is left, but I don't want any part they're of it. All, uh, I'm tired of this war. They're, they're, they're all gone, They're dead. They're gone. Dead? Oh my. The threat's yep, over. they're all gone. War's over. I killed Lewis. Oh, yeah. you, so you, killed, you, you, you killed, killed the man like who shot of applause me. For you. I sure did. <laughs> uh, I shot his ass with just here M14, look at it. Uh, is my yep, brother here, uh, Tom? Tom? Oh. Uh, not that I've seen, unfortunately. I yeah. can't say oh. I've heard the name, I'm really sorry. Same. <sighs> well, right. listen, the, I've, yeah. heard, I've heard the lot of you want to head off of here on a raft. Yeah, yeah, well, the raft is nearly done, actually. Yeah, uh, we're actually here to check if anybody wants to join us, but it seems like the threat's eliminated. These things, they can't swim, and we took care of the crazy military people, so... We might try and make yeah, a no life taxes. here. Hmm. No taxes. Well, no taxes. And no, no taxes. taxes. <laughs> <laughs> no taxes. <laughs> Sorry well, for that. Look, I think regardless of how safe this island is now, I think I want out. I'm sure you could make it something better than even what it once was, but... There's nothing left for me here, and, well, if you come across Tom Balderman, tell him we went I'll north. Before we <laughs> all disperse into our corners of the world, should we have a, how do you say this, dance party? While we sail away, you can send us off at the beach. How does that sound? <laughs> all right, why don't we go make our way back uh, then, yeah? I, I really it's all over. Ex expect for it to end up like this. <laughs> There's Raccoon's corpse. I... There's just a pile of ammo there. There were like three corpses right here. Oh yeah, this was the school. That's where Elena and Delort 
inside. Jesus. Wait, I, I remember loaning some books from the librarian. Uh, we never returned them. Hello, hey, everyone. We, we got some, we got hey. some people uh, waving us off. You've been wanting to show off this cabin for a long time, huh, Joe? Oh, yeah, I have. Very, very nice cabin. Oh, come on in, come on in. Uh, we got an antique oven so here you guys could uh, gut if you need it. There's still some supplies in oh. here that we're choosing to leave behind. Lumber Joe, you have saved our asses, so... Oh, Lumber Joe lived a bullet in the head. I think Lumber Joe is the go to Lumber survivor. Joe is the protagonist. <laughs> <laughs> what is the circle the of fish? <laughs> we lost Lucy, so we figured we'd have to make do with like 20 fish. And with that, it was finally time for those leaving to board their raft and say their goodbyes. Bye. Safe trails. Bye. Bye, guys. And remember not to get scurvy. Don't we die may have to get some fruit. Have a good one, fellas. Come on, gang. Consider this my letter of resignation. King's mouth is in fine hands. Do her proud. Oh. <gasps>